athletes come and athletes go, and so do our memories. Welcome to Legends in Sports on Acts 25. And on today's program, we feature Gary Cummins, a footballer, a coach, a man who has done Trent Tobago proud internationally and locally. And we take this opportunity to host Mr. Cummins here and to reflect on his career in the sport of football. Gali, it's a pleasure. Thank you very and much. Um, to thank you legends. very much for having me. As I said in the opening, athletes come and they go and we forget them. Legends in Sports is a program designed to bring to the forefront and especially to the younger ones, our heroes and our legends who have gone before. You are considered by many as a legend in the sport, your career on the field as a footballer and a coach. How did it start for you in the sport of football? It started for me um, because I was, um, I'm originally from uh, Dundonald Street in Port of Spain. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the top of where, where I lived, uh, you have the Queen's Park Savannah. Mm -hmm. So we, where we lived, uh, we never, we didn't have a big area, plain area. So your parents used to like, get, you, get you out of the house to go and play. Yeah. So the Savannah became my backyard, my play field. So, so it was just about 100 meters and you entered the Queen's Park Savannah. So every, and in those days, um, it, it had standards in the game. So I guess it all started from there, then on to primary school, um, take us through, uh, through primary through okay. school, then you went to Fatima. Take us through. Right. Well, uh, I went to Richmond Street um, Boys uh, uh, RC, um, EC School, Anglican. And that is the corner of, uh, of Duke and Richmond Street in Port of Spain. But before, before I put on my football boots for Richmond Street Primary School, we had the likes of people who, who went before me, like Gwen Wincos, the Gomaldo brothers, mm -hmm. Victor and, the, and, and others. Del Gellinos from, mm -hmm. from uh, well, who we remember from the national team, Jeff Gellino. Mm -hmm. And so we had a lot of people who um, passed through there, like Latapis, Uncle, and, 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 and all these people played. I played with one of Latapis, Uncle, and, at, 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 in primary school. Mm -hmm. And so it had, it, it, it had a tradition there, and it had a sort of a, 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 a milestone, something for you to, to, to want to, 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 to go at. And every time I, I remember, a little boy through my window, and these boys was on their way up to play football in the Queen's Park Savannah. They had to pass in front of my home. Mm. And I used to be looking through the window, I talking about age five, six, looking at these fellas with the football boots over the shoulder, mm -hmm. and they, 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 they have these, these cool colors mm -hmm. on the, the football jersey. What was a big thing to play, play in, that, in that maroon and, and orange kind of color. And, and I suggest imagine myself being there. And one time, um, my teach my I was in third stand, I must have been about eight or seven or eight, I don't remember. And um my the, the guy who was teaching me, my teacher, he was the sports master. And he went I was went up as the ball boy for the primary school team because you are you know, serious um good players in, at the school and I went up as the ball boy and and one player didn't come. Mm -hmm. One guy didn't show up. So and, and and he yeah, and he say Little comments because my brother was already here. They used to call me little comments because my brother was even for little, but who's the co Well, there's big comments. Mm -hmm. One who had all the footballing ability. And he said to me, he said, um, just fill in here for this boy. For, for, and that was it. I filled in and scored about three. And I mean, like, I was unstoppable at that, at that age because I always practiced a lot in the Savannah and in the gateway, in the alleyways, you know, like just like the, that, um, they were the, uh, in Brazil and and Argentina, the, 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 you know, the, the, little, the little small goal in, in the area. And that was it. My, my career at, in football got started like that. And from that, I never came off uh, 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 the, the primary school team. And we went on to win the, the Port of Spain um, primary school league and, and all this kind of thing. But what was, was very nice in those, back in those days is that I got, I, when it, we, we used to have north-south at all levels. Mm -hmm. We had it in the senior football. We had it in secondary school, and then we had it at um, at, at 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 primary school. Primary school. So I get to, to play against Warren Archibald, 
and, and, and a, a host of these fellas who I end up playing with. So um, I remember Kenny Judith Warren Archibald and others that were on the South team. And, and Archie was a star in them days too. And what was amazing is that when I look back at Haiti and, and all the, the World Cups before that we, we, we represented Trinidad in, the, those were the same guys that I knew from primary school. And so I went on from primary school and I uh, went over to Tranquility Boys, mm -hmm. a, um, government school. And from Tranquility, I was playing with Paragon in first division Port Spin League. I was 14 years old playing second division and first division sometimes. Because and my elder brother was there playing in the first division team mm -hmm. and I was in the reserve team. And I was always playing up then. Mm -hmm. I never played with people my age, like yes. my peers. I always played with older people. Like I was 14 years playing with guys hitting 20, some guys 30, my senior, and I was holding my own.